Cowboy Nation. Oh, we get ready to talk about number 11. Y'all know I do not like that boy. I'll just be honest with you and tell you off the rip. I'm always fair in my assessment. But man, I do not like him. Michael Parsons, this game was pathetic. He was very pathetic. We're just going to get straight into this. So in this play, I didn't understand this one, right? Because if one is right here, right? Why would Micah curl here? Shouldn't Micah, if he's dropping, I know it's a long way to drop, but he can do it. Shouldn't Micah keep dropping and dropping deeper? To make this throw a little tougher, at least. Or make him drop it over the head, at least. So either Dan Quinn is dumb. Or Micah didn't do his job here. But we'll leave, we'll leave that. We, we won't get on that, harp on that too much. But all these other players coming up, he going to get this work. Look at the bottom of your screen. Name me a defensive end who gives me this type of effort. What is this? What is this? It's playoff time. What is this? You, bro, what kind of thing? Bro, for real? Not even, not even an attempt to tighten it up. He just want to get to the, bro, he, Look how far he would he would have not been in the play if it would have been a run. Or look at this. Look how far out the play he is. He playing corner. I'm going to get to the good part, y'all. And I'm going to tell you why that it's just pointless to have him out here. If you're going to be a defensive end, be a defensive end. As a defensive end, right? We are taught to put our inside shade hand down and are just our feet. But you can clearly tell that one, the defensive line coach ain't coaching because I don't care if you're rushing or not. That's how you're taught. When we had linebackers when I played that can rush too, guess what? They were taught the fundamentals of a defensive end, a defensive line, period. And every and I noticed this with a lot of the Cowboys. They don't put their inside shade hand down a lot of the times. And look, your inside shade, it's, his, his left hand is supposed to be down. Look, his left hand is supposed to be down. This hand is supposed to be down. You're supposed to adjust your feet, but it's not. And that makes a, and, and that makes a big difference. They're not being taught. So when you talk about this professional stuff, ain't none of these people professional. When they talk about, oh, a professional, no, no, you don't. Look what they doing. Like, that's defense. That's defense one-on-one. Then we taught this inside shade hand down. Inside shade. He just going to the quarterback. He didn't make no attempt to want to play the run. He didn't want to squeeze that down. But y'all talking about this is a lion. And these coaches ain't got to go. And, and be, so we can't question them because they, they're supposed to be coaching at a professional level. This ain't professionalism. Your whole organization ha is not don't have a bunch of professionals. They suck. Look at this soft-ass boy avoiding contact. He ain't want no smoke. Look at him. Look at him. Mr. Lyon, look at him. Didn't want to set no edge, no none of that. He's sorry. He's soft. What? Lion. He talked all that stuff. He talked all that stuff. Oh, I'm going to have my best game. Oh, I'm going to show up. The lion's going to roar. <laughs> all you hear was meow. He's soft. Look at him. He avoid contact. And when you avoid, bro, let me tell y'all something. Y'all know anybody that play ball, if y'all would have did this, you would have not been playing ever again. Not that season you wouldn't have. Not that season you would have. But they let this soft-ass boy do what he want to do. He's avoiding contact. You're supposed to set the edge if you're going to be right there. He avoided contact. They want to blame you. Can't blame the linebackers. You got this soft ass boy playing safety. Look at him, and then you got him avoiding contact. 
This was all, this run was because of them. And especially because of him, because he didn't want to be physical. And you want to tell me that, oh, Michael Parsons is just a star? Star what? He's soft. He's supposed to be your leader. Leading what? You're supposed to lead by example. We don't want to hear what the hell you got to say. We know you got a whole lot to say on your podcast and all that. But what about your play? In big games, in the playoffs, what does he do? He's nowhere to be found. Anybody that's going to be physical with him, he do not want no smoke. He quit this game. He quit. You telling me that you want to keep a quitter? You telling me that you want to keep a sucker? Michael Parsons know I be getting at him, and I know he watching this film. Yeah, homie, you soft. You soft as hell. I've been saying this all year. You hella soft. Look at this. He avoided contact. I want this to be a play that I want you to dream about this. All you Michael Parsons lovers, I want you to dream about this. This is pathetic. Oh, you think he only did this as one time? No. <laughs> I want him gone. Look at this. He wasn't going. He he ain't want. He ain't want to take. Look, look. I'm gonna tell you something. Look, look, look how he back. Look. Nah, I didn't want to take him on. He quit and he's sorry. He quit and he's sorry. Don't let that because he can run fast and he may be strong. Don't let it fool you. He has no heart. That lion. Bro, you have to change your name. You are not that. You come on, look at that. Look how much airspace this is. As a defensive end. What's it? Dirt and Quinn? Y'all allow this to happen. Oh, look at that space. Not even trying to work down the line. He's soft as hell. Look at the difference between the other end. Come on. Come on, look at this. Look at the effort, at least, of him trying to set that. Look at it. When do you see Michael Parsons do that? Because he did it maybe once. He only does that, y'all. When he don't feel like running. He picks and chooses his effort. He picks and chooses his effort. I want to get rid of his sorry ass. You can get a whole lot. And you can change your team around. You telling me that y'all going to win a championship. With him leading your team. This is what leads your team. You can't win with a sorry ass man like that. Look at that. That's pathetic. He is sorry, y'all. Sorry ass, pathetic excuse for a so-called star. Need to take that damn star off his helmet. He is not it. He is not it, y'all. I don't know what people see in him, but he is not it. He has done this all year and in big games. Look at this. You see it? What is this? Oh, there's a hell of a lot more. But we're not going to get into all of it today. But there's a hell of a lot more. He quit on you. Even though a lot of the stuff was done in garbage time, he quit on you. He quit on you. And you want him to continue to be a Dallas Cowboy when he quit on you? Are you serious here? He is no good for here. He is selfish. I seen Jesse Holly say it. He is selfish. How you gonna leave? How, come on. All that stuff. Oh, I done had the team over for dinner. I don't mean nothing. Look what you do on the field. All that just for publicity stunt. He is not him. He sucks. I do not want this boy on my team no more. You talking about Bill Belichick, Mike Tomlin. I bet you he don't want to play for them people. I, that's why he want to follow Dan Quinn because Dan Quinn going to let him do what he want. I bet you he don't want to play for them. You think he can do this with Bill Belichick? You think he can really do this with Bill Belichick? Understand what you're asking for. Do you think he can do this with Bill Belichick? 
Hell no. He saw and he sucked. He cried about holding calls. You don't use your hands. He don't want to play linebacker. Well, you can't play defense in. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to talk. Just let me, just let me go ahead and, and, and get this live stuff together. We're going to talk.